Hey everyone, I'm Andrew Dowd. Hope you're having a great day. Today we are in Sag Harbor with artist April Gornick at her studio. April, beautiful place. Tell us a little bit about what you're working on. Well, Andrew, thank you. Um, I'm working toward a show that I'm going to have next February at Miles McHenry Gallery. And so the paintings that you see here are new paintings that will be in that show. I imagine a lot of the inspiration for your art comes from living out here? Yes, a considerable amount. It didn't initially um, influence me as much as it does now, but I think I've become more attuned to it. And there's a lot of history here too, because there have been so many artists and writers, especially in Sag Harbor. In spite of the fact that it's a tiny village, it's always had a massive international connection. One of the most well-known aspects of Sag Harbor is the Sag Harbor Cinema which of course had that devastating fire, and you've been extremely instrumental in trying to get that rebuilt. Talk to us about that. Well, it kind of fell in my lap, the rebuilding of the cinema. The owner of the cinema came to me six months before the fire actually happened, and he and his wife had said that they decided that they wanted it preserved by a not-for-profit in, mm -hmm. in their intent, which was to show art films and interesting films, and and to keep it going as an art house cinema. I mean, you drive down Main Street in Sag Harbor and the work that they've done is amazing. It, it looks, from the exterior, just like the old one. Yeah, no, it, it will absolutely look the same from the exterior. And when you first go into the lobby, it will be different, but there will be preserved elements of everything that made it the Sag Harbor Cinema. People will recognize all the little quirky architectural details. Blending the old with the new. Yes, but it's going to be actually a very brand new Cinematheque um, with a lot of historical features still intact. The seats will be very similar. I don't think you'll really notice the difference, except that they'll be comfortable. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Got to be comfortable. And no sure. longer smelly. And um, we'll have three cinemas. We'll have a large one that will have an even larger screen than the previous mm -hmm. cinema had that will have about 220 seats, 230 seats. Um, a smaller repertory theater that will have, I think, 96 seats, and then a screening room that will hold 38 seats and can be rented. We will have the ability to um, roll out all sorts of different movies throughout the day wow. and during the week, and that's for profitability, and that's for also giving people the most bang for their buck. Do you have a projected date for when those doors will open again? Yes, we are thinking, I mean, if we get enough money, we can open fall of 2020. Well, if people want to help contribute, how can they do that? Our website is sagharborcinema.org and you'll find all sorts of other information about donations. You can donate with a credit card, you can um, purchase a seat. We still have seats available okay. for $5,000 and 10,000 in the screening room. Um, we have our community wall. We have all sorts of naming rights. And all of that's on the website. All of you that's can go on see the what's website, sagharborcinema.org, mm -hmm. simply put. April, thank you so much. I really appreciate thank that. You That's so wonderful. Much, Andrew. I'm Andrew Dowd. That's what's happening in the Hampton.